Welcome back to Surveying with Robert. So this is a follow-up to the um, the export a uh, a file from your Survey Pro Data Collector and getting it into Access, right? So last week I showed you guys how you get a free copy at Trimble Business Center. You can you can bring those job files in or those survey files, and you can convert those to a um, an Access file and bring it back to the Data Collector. Well, I kind of went back and forth with Jerry. Um, Kozowski, Kozowski, God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm really bad with names. If, if I'm mispronouncing it, I apologize. But um, he says, we, we kind of went back and forth because my thing was that if you didn't have the data collector and you, you, but you had 30 years of files on a computer somewhere, right? And you wanted to convert those files to, to now to be used with a job file. I mean, how were you going to convert it? It's a, you know, you've got all these files, these back where you've backed up your data collectors, and all it's on there is a job file because you didn't export a CSV, you didn't save it for whatever reason, right? This is all hypothetical. So my my thing was is that if they don't, if the person does not have the job, wait a minute, let me back up. If the person does not have the data collector and able to export a CSV or a text file off of it and bring that into Access. So the problem with that is that um, if you've got 30 years of files on a computer, but you don't have a data collector, right? Your data, the reason you switched from Survey Pro to Access because your data collector blew up or busted the screen or whatever the case may be, you need to be able to convert those files over and be able to use them in, um, in Access. And that was kind of my point. You could download the free copy of Business Center and you could convert the files, right? So he comes back and he has something very interesting, Jerry does, that um, I had asked several people from Trimble about it and nobody gave me this bone, so I really appreciate him giving this to me. He, We, we went back and forth about the, uh, not having the data collector in hand. He goes, well, now that's a whole other story, not having the data collector. In that case, people can download the free utility called the Spectra Precision JXL Style Sheet Converter to open those dot survey files on their computer to export a JXL file or a text file. As for the vectors, yes, they will import into TBC as will any total station observation. My point was that none of those observations get exported out of TBC to the job file. He's absolutely right. When you bring that into Business Center, you get all the vector lines, but when you export that back out, all you're getting is the points. You're not getting the, um, you're not actually getting the, um, uh, um, vector lines or not that they, they don't go with it right so that's what he's saying he said um only the points do great stuff robert love your channel thanks love you too brother and i really appreciate this this helps a lot me being able to use this to um, get you guys your job file so we're going to try that jxl exporter i'm kind of disappointed that nobody from trumbull told me anything about this exporter so thank you jerry i really appreciate that once again so what I got going on here is I have a data collector and I have a SD card. These are the same SD cards like I use in my cameras and stuff. We're going to put the SD card into the data collector. So um, I wasn't real sure if you guys were aware. So I thought I would take this off here and show you guys where this SD card goes. And then we're going to convert this file. So I'm going to take my radio off, maybe. Put the radio off there. I'm going to have to take this other panel off here. So let's take this other panel off. I think I should have went and got the Milwaukee to do this with. It'd been easier. Okay, so here in the top of the data collector, you've got these two screws back here. So this is where your SD card goes, and this is where your SIM card goes. So if you're putting a SIM card in it, and as you can see, mine has a SIM card in it there, and I've got an SD card in here that I'm going to take out. Maybe I'm going to take out. I hope I'm going to take out. Oh, barely get hold of it. Okay, so this one, 
This one I loaded the Survey Pro job file on. So I'm going to put it in here. Okay, so there that is. So this is a great way to load files. on your data collector okay so you can load these files in your data collector and um, you can put multiple files and then you can you can reach them that way okay so I'm gonna lay that over there for right now and let's do this okay so as you can see here on the screen there is the uh, secure digital storage D uh, SP to to access survey there that is so now let's go to Google Okay, if you go to the Spectre Geospatial website and you go to products and you go to software solutions, then I'm going to scroll down to Survey Pro. Once I click on Survey Pro and I scroll down, you're going to see Spectre Geospatial Survey Pro downloads. So we're going to go into there. Now we are going to scroll down here to the bottom and you're going to see this is what Jerry was talking about. Here's a Spectre Precision JXL Style Sheet Converter that I wasn't aware of. Let's click on that. So it says a uh, zipped installation program for the JXL Converter utility to be used with Survey Pro 6.6 .6 and older. So um, this should work for, I believe this will work for um, our version. We're going to find out. If not, there's a lot of older ones on here. So I just told it to open. There it is. Okay, so we're going to do the setup. There it is. Accept. File downloading. Converter setup. Yes. To, 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 to download and install this feature. So it wants to install this .NET framework. It's already installed on my PCs because of Business Center, but we'll see what we can find here. Downloading required files. Hopefully this doesn't take just a minute or two. Okay, so that took a few minutes. That .NET framework um, took forever to load and took forever to install. So let's see what happens now. Wow. Next, 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 and uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. So now we're actually installing the software. Uh, has been set as so I click close to exit. Close. So I'm going to minimize that. Okay, we're going to open up the JXL style sheet converter and we're going to browse and make sure this is where it's at. Secure digital, SP to access. Uh, this is the file we want. We're going to say open. <laughs> and then we're going to convert to job XML and save as JXL. So use this bottom one down here um, and hit apply. Once you do that, it's going to convert it. And no, I don't want it to use anything to open it with okay so it's converted it so I'm going to close that out okay so once we convert that what we need to do is go in to SP to access it's under the D drive SP to access there it is so I'm going to copy it from there and I'm going to take it to C drive, program data, Trimble, Trimble data, projects, and it's going in the one I am calling field work. Okay, so let's paste it here. Okay, so it's in there. So now let's open up Trimble Access. And the reason I'm doing that is because it doesn't want to read it from the um, 
it doesn't want to read it from the uh, uh, SD card. So we're going to say new and what we're going to do is normally you're going to see this create from template. What you're going to do is you're going to create from job XML or DC file. So we're going to call this SP test. Whoops. Call it SP test one. File format is going to be a job XML. From file, and it doesn't want to read from the SD card. That's why I had I transferred it over to the uh, where the project folders are at. So the project folders are under um, program data, Trimble, Trimble data, projects. I'm under the project field work, and I put it SP to access underneath there, and I'm going to say accept. Now what it's going to tell me is I don't have a GeoID model, and I'm going to say OK. I've been wrestling with this because, as you can see, it doesn't show up, and I'm like, what is going on? I finally figured out what was going on. you got to go up here and tell it to uh, refresh, then SP test shows up, select it, hit open. Now it's going to ask you for your project height. In my case, I'm going to say 200 feet. I'm going to say accept. Now it's telling me I don't have a joid model because the way I brought it in. So now I'm going to go to a vertical adjustment. I'm going to say geoid model. I'm going to say geoid 18. I'm going to say accept, accept. And there's our points that came in. Hallelujah. I've been fighting with this thing for an hour. So I hope you guys got all that. We had to go to Spectre's website, download the converter, load the converter it wanted to load the net framework took forever finally loaded and then uh, we were able to open up the uh, the converter open up the converter we converted the dot uh, survey file to the XML and we were able to bring it in okay so anyways now we're set up we can do that on the data collector so now if we go to the data collector and look, we have a JXL style sheet converter. So we can load all of our Survey Pro jobs if we want to on that, um, on that SD card. Loader files on there, they'll convert them right there. Then we can pull them off. Bada bing, bada bam, there you go. <laughs> been fighting with this since I loaded it. Anyways, <clears throat> ain't the cleanest, ain't the prettiest, but that's how you do it. And if you will look right up here, it is 1.30 a.m. now Sunday morning. <laughs> I've been messing with this since about mm, 9 or 10 o'clock Saturday night. So I finally got it all figured out. Like I said, not the easiest, but got her done. So guys, golly, I hope this helps somebody because <laughs> this sure was a lot of work. So um, that's using the style sheet converter to create these files. It would have been really nice if there was actually a style sheet in Trimble Access that I could have downloaded and done the same thing, but there's not. Uh, hint, hint to my friends at Trimble. So um, anyways, guys, um, there she blows. And um, hopefully this helps you guys out. So, as always, God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is coming here pretty quick. Be a, another Tuesday tip. I think I'm going to show you guys how to use your cell phone to record static on your um, R10s and R12s. Um, I, I'm kind of working with some drone guys, and that's the reason I'm doing that. So, anyways, guys, God bless. Love you. Bunches and bunches. Really appreciate appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Woo!